I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. One of the features of TBS Crossfire that people like the most is its ultra-low latency, and that comes with a 150 hertz sample rate. But some people have questioned just how often you're really getting that 150 hertz sampling rate. Because as you get farther from the transmitter, the Crossfire link will degrade. It will go down to a lower performance, higher range, uh, status. And one of the things it does is it reduces the sampling rate from 150 hertz down to 50 hertz, at which point the latency goes up. And some people have asked me to test this. And in case you hadn't figured it out yet, that's what I'm going to be testing today. They've said, oh, Crossfire, oh, they talk about their low latency. But actually, when I'm flying, I notice that I'm constantly dropping down to 50 hertz, even at relatively short range. So we're going to give that a test today and see how it does. Before we get to the flight test, let me just show you the quad that we're working with today because many people are going to see these results and they're going to ask, well, what was your antenna mounting? Because no matter whether Crossfire does well or whether it does badly, there's always going to be somebody who says it should have done better. Wow. <laughs> so here's the quad we're working with and here is how the antenna is mounted. And you can see I've got it mounted in an L-shaped configuration off the back of the quad. Uh, I am not using the Immortal T. And this is how I mount the Crossfire antennas on all my freestyle quads. Now, some people like to put the Immortal T out at the edge of the arm. And I don't. I find that it's a little more likely to get chopped and beat up there than in the back of the quad, even though that would give better range. Um, the other thing you'll, you'll point out is that the L-shaped antenna doesn't give as good range as the, the straight T-shaped antenna. And that is true, but the L-shaped antenna does give a more circular coverage pattern, whereas the, the straight T-shaped antenna has nulls at the end of the arm. So my opinion is that for a freestyle quad, you, you want fewer nulls because the quad is going to be in all sorts of orientations, whereas like a wing, you kind of know that it's mostly going to be flat and level, right? And freestyle quads, let's face it, are not pushing kilometers and kilometers of range. So how far away do you get that 150 hertz sampling. What I've done is I've set my Tyrannus up so that it will beep at me when the uh, when the relevant telemetry sensor drops down and to indicate that we've gone into 50 hertz mode. I've also put LQ, link quality, as my RSSI down in the lower right there, whichever side it is. I I've put LQ down in the RSSI in the lower right, but I'm not 100% sure how to interpret LQ. Um, I think LQ is supposed to stay at 100%, except when we drop down to 50 hertz, but it didn't seem to be doing that, so I'm not sure if we should even pay attention to the LQ. Anyway, so learn the lower right. Listen for that beep, though, that is going to indicate that we've dropped from 150 hertz down to 50 hertz, and how far away am I at the point that that happens? No, I've got the uh, volume is all the way up now. Let's see if it beeps. Let's see if we can make it beep. We're at 100 milliwatts. 100 milliwatts, the dynamic power off. No beeping. We're staying at 150 hertz. If we go this way, what happens? See, I think LQ is, LQ is dropping, but there, that's 50, that's 50 hertz right there. That's 50 hertz. Now, okay, at 100 milliwatts, that's their limit for 50 hertz range. There I am. You see me standing up at the top of the hill? Well, you can't quite see me. Let's see here. There's the top of the hill. There's me. Keep my finger on the sticks here. Here we are. See how far I am? See where I'm standing? Does it ever beep? Now it's got to be back. 13.5 volts. 
I don't think it's going to beep while I'm sort of here on my property. That six inch jello baby. So we're at 150 hertz here, no problem. If I go this way, I wonder what happens. Yeah, no problem. Now, this is at 100 milliwatts. Sometimes uh, pilots are forced to turn down to 25 milliwatts, for example, if they're at a racing event with a lot of other people. So what if we do that? Again, we got LQ. Now this is 25 milliwatts. Not bad, not bad at all. So we're not getting any beeps. We're on the property. Seeming pretty good. If we go this way, we'll, we should start to get a beep, I'm sure. You can see LQ dropping way up. Now we got signal low. There was our beep. Okay, here we go again. Let's listen for that beep. 25 milliwatts. Okay, if we go through here, we're going to get it. Now this is just some trees. We're not actually that far away. Nope, no problem. What if we... Get some distance, but we're up in the air. Oh, that's even better. Now we're definitely... There it was. So that's how far we were. Signal low. Oh, signal critical. Yep. So that's about how far we can get on 25 milliwatts. At least with this antenna. At least with this antenna. Alright, well we're going to bring it home. Because this battery is unhappy with us. Alrighty. Well, there you go. That's some data. Gotta love data. Keep flying, everybody.